Good afternoon, Rick Allen here with TechOut. A lot of people requested to see the navigation gestures on Android Q. This is the Android Q beta running on my OnePlus 7 Pro. So it is a couple versions behind what is current for the stock Android Q beta. This is the OnePlus Android Q beta. Um, but most of the gestures and everything are the same. So you have two options now. Um, you don't have the little pill style icon anymore and they aren't going to be allowing developers to add in their own navigation gestures or features. So you're going to be stuck with what is built into the OS. Um, so you have your standard back home recent button down here um, on the bottom or you can do navigation gestures right here um, which you have two options for that. You can have the bar down here kind of like the iPhone. Um, you can see it right there or you can hide that bar. Now with that bar on, that will allow you to swipe on it to go back and forth to recent apps. So you can see right here, you can swipe on the bar to swipe uh, forward and back on your recent apps. Um, it works basically just like if you're familiar with the iOS gestures, that's how it works. Swipe up to go home, um, swipe up and hold for your app switcher, um, stuff like that. There is a bug right now, you see I get these two little plus icons down here. Um, that is a noted bug. It is in the release notes that that is a bug. A lot of people kept telling me on my other video that that is for um, the the quick toggles right here or your um, your quick launch right here. It is not. It is a bug. It says it's a bug. So I don't know why um, people keep thinking those aren't a bug. You can see they go away. Those definitely shouldn't be on the home screen. They also appear on the ambient display when you wake it up. They come up right there. So definitely a bug not supposed to be there. Everything else in the gestures works fine. By the way, those are part of the gestures. If you turn um, gestures off and have your bar down here, those don't show up. That's why I wasn't using it. Just because it was a little bit annoying when they kept popping up every, every once in a while or whenever I went back home. But that's how the gestures work on Android Q. Um, much like iOS, pretty much the same concept. Swipe up, like I said. Um, swipe back and, back and forth. Um, one other one is you can swipe on the side to go back, and that works on either side. Um, and that just... That's basically your back button now. So those are the gestures on Android Q. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.